China just executed one of the most remarkable initial public offerings in its financial history. And when you see the figures I'm about to share, you'll struggle to comprehend how rapidly this emerging Chinese enterprise is positioning itself to directly confront NVIDIA, America's most strategically vital technology giant in the global semiconductor arena. I understand that sounds audacious. How could any nascent company realistically challenge NVIDIA, the architect of contemporary AI processors with a market capitalization exceeding $4.3 trillion? But consider this. The chief executive of More Threads, the Chinese graphics processing unit manufacturer that just completed its public debut this week, is James Zhang a former NVIDIA vice president who dedicated 14 years to constructing NVIDIA's operational infrastructure throughout China. Zhang isn't simply another Chinese technology executive. He launched his professional journey in 1995 at Hewlett Packard and Dell before joining NVIDIA in 2005, where he emerged as one of the pivotal architects behind the company's extraordinary expansion across mainland China. He possesses intimate knowledge of NVIDIA's technology architecture, supply chain mechanics, and competitive strategy. And now he's deploying that expertise to assist China in engineering its own NVIDIA equivalent, right in the heart of Beijing. This explains why the More Threads IPO transformed into a national phenomenon. The offering was oversubscribed by a staggering 4,126 times, with aggregate bids reaching $4.5 trillion, exceeding NVIDIA's complete market valuation. These numbers reveal everything about Chinese investors' confidence in domestic technology and illuminate how fierce the U.S.-China technological rivalry has become. In today's analysis, I'm going to dissect precisely what transpired during this historic public offering, identify the forces behind China's newest semiconductor champion, examine Beijing's strategy to contest NVIDIA's supremacy, and explore what all of this signifies for the trajectory of the U.S.-China tech confrontation. Let's begin with a recent article from The Economist titled, China's Chip Industry Will Surprise the World, published just last month. It provides a crystalline picture of what China is preparing to achieve in 2026. The surprises will come not from code, but from silicon. Chinese firms will push ahead in two areas, long thought beyond their reach, designing and manufacturing powerful AI chips. For anyone still questioning China's innovation capacity, we need only revisit January 2025 when a relatively obscure Chinese startup called DeepSeek disrupted the entire technological landscape by launching an AI model that challenged America's open AI, built with a fraction of the budget and, critically, without access to NVIDIA's most sophisticated processors. DeepSeek demonstrated that China could innovate around U.S. sanctions and, more significantly, accomplish more with considerably less. That identical momentum is now channeling directly into China's semiconductor industry, including enterprises like More Threads. But here's where the narrative takes an even more dramatic turn. Last month, NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang spoke at a private gathering in Taiwan and candidly explained why U.S. sanctions have completely misfired. He declared, These export controls are the dumbest thing we've ever done. You've just given them the best national mobilization mission in 50 years. It's like the Sputnik moment on steroids. Washington thinks they're stopping China. They're not stopping China. They're accelerating China. By 2027, China will have more AI compute than the rest of the world combined. Mark my words, this represents a stunning acknowledgement from NVIDIA's chief executive, a corporation whose entire future hinges on America maintaining dominance in the global AI chip marketplace. And this pattern keeps recurring. For both the Biden and Trump administrations, every attempt to decelerate China's technological ascent has generated the opposite outcome. China is innovating more rapidly than at any point in its modern history. Which brings us directly to more threads. This IPO didn't materialize in isolation. It's integral to a massive national initiative to construct China's own NVIDIA and dismantle America's dominance throughout the global semiconductor supply ecosystem.
Even Gina Raimondo, Joe Biden's former Commerce Secretary, has now conceded publicly that U.S. sanctions failed. Examine what she recently stated at Harvard China has a massively effective industrial policy. It's amazing. It's stunning. I mean, anyone's been in a BYD car. It's a gorgeous car. Works really well. It's a beautiful thing. Look at Huawei. You know, incredible. You know, people in the government in the two administrations ago thought they were going to hobble Huawei, come back stronger than ever, making incredible chips. Remarkable, isn't it? She's acknowledging sanctions didn't function while behaving as though she bore no responsibility for implementing them. But I preserve the evidence. Here's what Raimondo proclaimed in 2022, still published on the U.S. government's official website. We will continue to take action to protect our advantage and maintain as large a lead as possible in these foundational technologies. We released a set of rules that impose systematic and technology-specific export controls to limit China's ability to purchase and manufacture certain very advanced computing chips that are used to train large-scale artificial intelligence models. These new rules are strategic targets and designed to protect our national security. But now, as we advance toward 2026, China's AI industry is exploding and more threads is poised to make history. So let's examine why this IPO transmitted a shockwave across the entire global technology sector. The man who knew NVIDIA's secrets. Most people outside China had never encountered more threads until this IPO went viral. But inside China, this company represents something far more substantial than a startup. It represents China's opportunity at building its own NVIDIA, powered by a man who understands NVIDIA from the inside out. More Threads was established in 2020 by James Zhang, a former NVIDIA vice president who invested 14 years building NVIDIA's presence throughout mainland China. From inception, his mission wasn't simply to build a chip company. The mission was to engineer a complete GPU ecosystem, everything from hardware architecture to developer tools to AI training frameworks, all constructed within China. To comprehend this, you need to understand one critical fact. NVIDIA's genuine power isn't its high-performance GPUs. It's something called CUDA. If you've never heard of it, don't worry. CUDA is essentially the operating system and software infrastructure that enables AI engineers to train models, execute simulations, build video games, and process enormous data volumes. CUDA functions like NVIDIA's proprietary language, and for 15 years, it's been the foundation of the entire global AI industry. Every AI laboratory utilizes it. Every developer depends on it. And without CUDA, NVIDIA's GPUs wouldn't dominate the world. But More Threads has successfully engineered their own CUDA equivalent. It's called MUSA, and it's designed for compatibility with NVIDIA's ecosystem, meaning Chinese developers can now construct and train advanced AI models on More Threads hardware using tools that function almost identically to NVIDIA's infrastructure. This is something experts claimed would require a decade or more to replicate, but More Threads achieved this in just a few years. The secret ingredient behind More Threads is CEO James Zhang and his reputation as NVIDIA's principal representative in China for many years. When he departed NVIDIA to launch his own venture, his credentials and reputation attracted numerous top engineering talents from NVIDIA, AMD, and China's leading technology platforms. Because of Zhang's success, more threads received substantial investment from several of China's largest technology corporations, including ByteDance, Tencent, and Sequoia China. When these companies invest at this magnitude, it signals they perceive more threads as a cornerstone of China's long-term AI future. While companies like NVIDIA and AMD typically release a major GPU architecture every two to three years, more threads has delivered four generations in just four years, a pace of innovation unprecedented in the microchip industry. Their latest architecture, launched in 2024, possesses the capability to train trillion-parameter AI models, 
That positions more threads directly in the realm of high-end computing and establishes it as a crucial domestic supplier for companies like DeepSeek who are training frontier-scale models inside China. Most importantly, more threads is building what China needs most urgently. GPUs for cloud computing, gaming, enterprise AI, and data centers, precisely the domains where NVIDIA constructed the foundation of its global empire. Now let's discuss the IPO, because this is where the story becomes utterly extraordinary. More Threads received regulatory approval for its public offering in merely 90 days, one of the fastest approvals in Shanghai Stock Exchange history, signaling how strategically critical Beijing views domestic GPU development. But the genuine shock arrived when the subscription window opened. The IPO was oversubscribed by 4,126 times attracting bids totaling as high as 33 trillion yuan, equivalent to 4.5 trillion U.S. dollars, surpassing NVIDIA's entire market capitalization. In the West, we constantly hear narratives that China's economy is collapsing and there's no future in its markets. But reality proves far more nuanced because certain strategic industries in China aren't decelerating at all. In fact, they're absolutely booming. Beijing perceives computing power as the fuel source of the next industrial revolution, the key to AI breakthroughs, national security, cloud infrastructure, and the future of robotics. That's why state-owned giants like China Telecom and private corporations like Meituan all invested heavily in the More Threads IPO. When China's government and its largest tech companies invest side by side, that's not merely enthusiasm. It's a transparent signal of China's long-term national strategy. The scale is absolutely stunning. More threads raised 8 billion yuan, approximately 1.12 billion US dollars, at a valuation of 17.5 billion dollars on day one. Most chip startups would dream of achieving a billion dollar valuation after a decade, but more threads reached 17 times that overnight. And remember, this company accomplished all of this under U.S. sanctions. After being placed on the U.S. entity list in 2023, more threads could have collapsed. Instead, they doubled down, restructured, streamlined operations, and according to internal communications, declared that nothing will compromise our resolve to build world-class GPUs. Two years later, domestic AI demand exploded and the company emerged even stronger. What this really means, if you remember one thing from today's analysis, I want it to be this, because it captures exactly why this IPO matters so profoundly to China. More Threads isn't attempting to defeat NVIDIA. NVIDIA will continue being an extraordinary American technology company, shaping the future of global AI. But More Threads is constructing something different, a world where China doesn't need NVIDIA at all. And that's precisely why Jensen Huang is concerned. He understands China is one of the most valuable AI chip markets on the planet. And he watched NVIDIA plummet from a 95% market share in China to essentially zero after export controls. Jensen recognizes that companies like More Threads are rising specifically to fill that vacuum, to build a complete self-reliant domestic ecosystem capable of powering every component of China's future technology infrastructure. If I've demonstrated one thing in today's analysis, it's that the global technology competition between the United States and China has accelerated faster than almost anyone anticipated. Microchips will remain the most precious resource for every nation. But the tech race is expanding into new competitive arenas, especially in AI, automation, and a field you might not have considered before. Humanoid robots. Both the US and China perceive humanoid robots as the next major platform transformation, capable of revolutionizing manufacturing, defense, logistics, and the future of work. What we're witnessing right now is the beginning of one of the most significant technological transitions of our lifetime. The reality is that humanoid robots remain in the earliest stages of real-world deployment. As of late 2025, humanoids represent only about 0.2% of the global robotics market, 
With most units operating inside pilot programs and controlled environments like automated factories. But the rate of advancement is accelerating quickly, and the companies building this emerging ecosystem are beginning to attract some of the strongest strategic investors globally. I'm laying all of this out because today's video sponsor is directly connected to this next technological wave, Humanoid Global Holdings, trading under the symbol RBF. This is one of the very few publicly traded companies providing exposure to the early stage humanoid robotics sector. To understand why so many investors and engineers are focused on humanoid robots, you only need to examine the potential productivity gains. A humanoid robot can theoretically operate up to 20 hours daily, 350 days yearly, offering as much as four times the labor productivity of a single human worker. If this technology scales, it could reshape global supply chains, accelerate reshoring, enhance industrial output, and transform entire sectors ranging from logistics and warehousing to healthcare, construction, defense, and beyond. This is where humanoid global holdings becomes intriguing. Rather than attempting to build robots themselves, the company has constructed a portfolio of indirect strategic investments across several of the most promising companies in the humanoid ecosystem. These companies are all private, meaning retail investors normally have no access to them. But humanoid global holdings provides an indirect entry point. Here are the five companies in their portfolio. First, Agility Robotics, developer of Digit, one of the world's first commercial bipedal humanoid robots, backed by Amazon's Industrial Innovation Fund and NVIDIA. Second, Aptronic, creator of Apollo, a general-purpose humanoid robot designed for industrial environments, backed by Google and Mercedes-Benz. Third, Riot Scan a company developing an AI-powered safety and performance platform specifically designed for autonomous robotic systems. Fourth, How to Robot, a global marketplace connecting businesses seeking automation with vetted robotic solution providers. And fifth, Formic, a robotics-as-a-service company making automation accessible to small and mid-size manufacturers through a subscription model backed by Lux Capital and Mitsubishi HC Capital America. For everyday investors, this is one of the only public vehicles offering access to these private robotics innovators, companies otherwise reserved for venture capital, institutional funds, or multinational tech giants. On the geopolitical dimension, China is aggressively advancing with a national strategy around humanoid robots. Beijing has established firm short-term deadlines, and humanoid development has become a national priority. Meanwhile, the United States is advancing through a decentralized ecosystem driven by private investment, venture capital, and large tech companies. Both nations understand that leadership in humanoid robotics could shape the next generation of industrial capacity and national competitiveness. The core thesis behind humanoid robotics is rooted in productivity, the ability to generate more output with fewer constraints. While timelines remain uncertain, the potential economic impact is enormous and the technology is still in its earliest days. As always, do your homework on Humanoid Global Holdings, trading under the symbol RBF. It's one of the only publicly traded companies focused on giving investors exposure to this early stage humanoid robotics ecosystem. Everyone, as always, I want to thank you for making it to this point. Thank you all for your incredible support. I'm going to drop links to the investor presentation, website, and stock ticker information below.